If you're following along uh, from some of the other videos, um, you'll have seen this is the um, the heatsink with the 14 modular LED boards that I uh, used in the uh, gluing uh, video. I'll show you how to glue them on. And in this video, I'm going to just going to show you how to wire them together um, and get them ready to uh, power up with uh, one of our drivers. Um, LEDs are connected together in strings. Here I have staggered my whites. I've got seven white boards, and then on the opposite, I've got seven blue boards, the royal blue. Pardon me. And um, it depends on which driver you use, the number of LEDs that they'll drive in the series. For this, I'm going to be using the uh, Meanwhile ELN 6048D, which will drive 14 LEDs or seven modular LED boards. Um, because I'm doing seven boards in a series, I need uh, six standard connectors and one start and end kit per series. So here I've got, let's say I've got two, I've got a series of seven blue. Um, so you need one start and end kit, five standard connectors, and a series of white. So I need another start and end kit and another seven uh, connectors, or sorry, six connectors. You always need um, one less of the number of standard connectors than the boards in your series. So say seven boards, six connectors. So here we've got 14 boards, uh, so 12 connectors is what I need, plus the start and end. Hopefully that's not too confusing. <laughs> um, it's pretty simple then um, to wire them together. I've got, I, I took, used six of the two inch ones and six of the four inch ones. The two inch ones are just gonna connect them in the middle and the uh, four inch ones are a little longer than they can go around um, the outside here. Um, so, I guess I'm, it's better to work, uh, stick with the, uh, do all the blues and then do all the whites, just so that you don't mix them up. Um, but it's pretty straightforward to wire them together. I'm just going to start in the center here. I'm going to work on the whites, put my starter in. And then I said the four inch connector will work on the outside. And the two inch goes on the inside. I left lots of space. Um, here I've got about three quarters of an inch between the boards, um, just so I have lots of room to get my little connectors in. Um, if you're buying a kit from us, we'll have all the connectors worked out for you as to which ones you need. Um, but usually, as I said, you need one less than the number of boards in the string. And um, the uh, it's, it's good to draw it out if you're not using a kit and uh, figure out which ones you need to go on the outside and which ones will be on the inside. This is not a typical uh, setup. Usually. Uh, people will just put uh, 12 boards on a heat sink this size, um, but I've decided to put an extra row in just to show that you can fit a little bit more onto this. Um, a more common scenario would be to buy a heat sink like this, put 12 boards on it, and uh, just put one royal blue in the middle, and that will work as your moonlight uh, LED during the night after um, all the other LEDs switch off. So I'm not at the end of the whites, so I just put it in the end. And that's all the whites wired together. Now I can start all in the blue.
when I'm at the end of the blues. And that's the whole heat sink uh, now fully wired up. And uh, my red and blacks will now uh, correspond to the red and black um, on whichever driver I'm using this. Just connect these up and I'll be able to power them up. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you need any 